In Hindu mythology, the Dainavas are a race descending from Kashyapa and his wife Danu, a daughter of the progenitor god Daksha. One, it is mentioned that there are 100 Dainavas. The Dainavas are a mythological race of Asuras, the half brothers to the Devas and Daityas, that are found in a range of Hindu texts. The Dainavas are a part of a larger group of the Asuras and are typically portrayed as opposed to the Hindu deities. However, historically their role in Hinduism is varied and at times the distinction between the Dainavas and Hindu deities is complex and they are difficult to distinguish from one another. The name Dainavas stems from the mother's name Danyu. Both Dainavas and Danyu are derived from the Vedic word Da meaning to give. Ananda Kumaraswamy suggests this word connotes generosity through another interpretation of their name is associated with Danu's relationship with her first son and demon, Vritra. In Indian mythology, in an attempt to deceive the Vedic god Indra, Vritra hides away in the primordial water or blessed water from him. In this myth, Danu herself is embodied as being the primordial water in which he hides in. The names of Danu and Dainavas as well as the individual names given to many of the sons of Danu differ across Vedic and Puranic literature causing confusion as to where their etymological origins lie. Dot the Devas exiled the Dainavas from Svarga during the Satya Yuga. After the exile the Dainavas are held to have taken refuge in the Vindhya range. Dot the genealogical history of Asuras is laid out in a range of texts, most notably in the Mahabharata. The genealogy of the demons or Asuras begins with Brahma's six sons. One son Marishi fathered Kashupa, who married 13 of Daksha's daughters, including Diti and Danu. Diti and Danu's children are among the most well-known demons in Hindu mythology. Diti's children are known as the Daityas and Danu's offspring are known as the Dainavas. It is important to note that the names of Dainavas and the Daityas are irregularly found and depicted throughout early Vedic literature such as the Rig Veda, along with the Mahabharata. The Brill's Encyclopedia of Hinduism states, In the Mahabharata Vyatra is the son of Dainu and the Rig Veda 1.32.9 speaks of Vyatra as the son of Danu. 6. However, in books 2 to 7 of the Rig Veda, Vyata is not considered an Asra or demon, and there is no mention of Danu or the Dainavas at all. 7. Rama, Marisi, Kashupa, Danu, Ashva, Ashvagri, Ashvagriva, Ashvapati, Ashvashanku, Ashvasaras, Ivamukha, Dainu. Durgajaba, Ekakakra, Ekaksha, Gaganamodhana, Gavastha, Hura, Ispa, Kabandha, Kapata or Vibhivap, Kabila, Karamba, Kezin, Ketchumat, Kupatha, Maidanav, Emartapa, Naraka, Nikandra, Nikumba, Pralamba, Pulaman, Ramba, Salaba, Sankara, Sankazeros, Saraba, Sutha, Satrutpana, Swarbanu, Chuandra, Viprachiti, Vritra. At other times, the genealogical roots of the demons are not emphasized. Demons are sometimes depicted as ancestral deceased beings who have been mistreated in their human lifetime by relatives who have not performed the proper and correct funeral rites for these beings in their human form. The Daityas and the Dainavas share the same physical features and characteristics as their counterparts, the Devas. In Hindu religion, the power of Maya or the power of illusion is possessed by both good and evil supernatural beings. The power of illusion allows beings to change their physical form nine despite their extensive role in certain texts there are not many examples of the physical characteristics of the Dainavas in their own right or even in conjunction with Devas in literature and art. Dot the extensive research into the supernatural beings of Hinduism focuses on their ambiguity.
Both good and bad supernatural beings demonstrate malevolent, powerful, yet merciful personalities. Therefore at times it is difficult to discern between the roles of oppositional beings. This is particularly evident in earlier Vedic literature, where there is not an emphasis on the oppositional qualities of these beings. In many myths or hymns, they perform identical actions to one another. Subsequently, the Dainavis's role is hardly distinguished or mentioned in Vedic literature. Aflaherty and Donager state that in later literature like the Mahabharata, these beings are slowly considered a part of Two separate castes, each has his own job to do the gods to encourage sacrifice the demons to destroy it, but there is no immorality in the demons, they are merely doing their job a destructive one. Ten while in the earlier Vedic period themes of caste-based structures of worship were not prominent. Natyashastra. Edit. In the Natyashastra the Dainavas are depicted as evil demons, meddling with dancers. Particularly, in the first chapter of the Natya Shastra, the Dainavas freeze and stop the performance of the dancers during an important event dedicated to the Hindu deities. Angering the deities, the Dainavas are attacked and defeated by Indra and an enclosed, safe dance arena is created for the dancers. Afterwards, dance dramas depicting the defeat of the Dainavas are performed at the arena and anger the demons further. The Dainavas' protestations are reserved for Brahma, the god of creation. Brahma advises the Dainavas that dance drama allows participants and viewers to become divine or a part of the gods in unison. Therefore, some scholars interpret Brahma's reply as the important role dance plays in worship.